Hello, dear international friends. Today we're going to visit a small steam train project in Schierwaldenrad. That's a very small town in the west of Germany in the direction of Belgium. Um, they are not internationally well known, so I'm trying to change that. We start at Cologne Central train station. You can reach it by subway or by all international trains, for example, from Brussels, from Paris. Um, it's, quite a, it's quite a short ride. Uh, unexpectedly, if you have never been in uh, Cologne, look how beautiful the sun um, does the rainbow thing. Do you see that? Yeah, that's a nice rainbow. It's a nice kind of rainbow. Are you excited that we are going to uh, watch the steam train in Schierwaldenrad? <laughs> All right, next we're going to switch to a small local train that will stop at every station. And our station, coming from the huge high speed train, uh, is now a very small, not even town, like, it's not a village, it's a small town called Geilenkirchen. 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 <laughs> Look at the site. It's beautiful. Not. Uh, down the stairs we go into the city. There, there, supposedly there is a city. Do you, do you believe that there is a city here? A city center? Maybe. Maybe. We'll check it out. Oh, even, even a castle. Allegedly they have a castle. Wow. Let's open my suitcase. You have seen it probably uh, before, um, but what do I have? I do have one ticket from uh, King's Cross platform 934. Let's see if I can redeem it here. Then I do have my life membership uh, card for Seven Valley Railways. Then I have a rail map for Europe, but um, this uh, probably this part uh, of town <laughs> or at least the tracks are not uh, visible on uh, this map we will check that out tomorrow then also 100 things that you need to know about uh, steam train engines do you know anything about steam train engines Ines? no nope. okay let's let's have a look many people formerly worked at steam trains look over here did you know that well that you probably knew also I brought, in case it gets cold, I brought my Hufflepuff gloves and I cannot, obviously I cannot use a modern watch like this. So I will replace it and adapt myself. First from Seven Valley Railways, I have the guard sign here that I will put that on. Then 
from a British friend. Uh, I have my I like trains pin, and then most importantly, I have an original train um, watch that runs backwards. I'm not kidding you; it really runs backwards um, because when the tr in times in former times when the trains were still on time, which is not the case here, I will not go into that. Um, you could use a watch, um, set it on a on a on a time. Okay, we first first of course you have to load it over here. And you're ticking, it's ticking now. <laughs> and then I, I set it to the right time, and then it runs backwards. Enos is like Mark. Show us how it runs backwards. I want to see yes, it. Yes, Mark. Yes. Show us. No problem. Um, Maybe you can, you can see it, uh, it at the seconds hand down there, the small hand that shows the seconds running backwards. And it even says, I don't know if you can see that, Railway Timekeeper uh, from Integra Lever, no, with an Integra Lever specially examined. Enter the ticket store where you can also buy nice things including postcards and ball pens and this is our ticket seller hello 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 you, you have a beautiful merch here in the back and this one I have at home but now I need to buy two tickets please for um, uh, back return and no hin zurück hin und zurück <laughs> so also zwei Leute hin und zurück zweimal yeah. How old is this machine? Oh. Like 50 years? 60, Jahre, 60, 60 70, years. 70 so. Super cool. Alright, this is the train station, the famous train station Schier Waldenrad. Uh, there's ancient luggage here, which looks pretty much like my luggage. And um, there's a little shop where we can buy the tickets and we will have to buy tickets. I don't have to because I have a, a year subscription, but those two here, they need tickets. Could you please? Here we are. The time is allegedly, oh no, 1 p.m. No, that's correct because departure is at 1 p.m. But there's also something written in a, in a different language. What language do you think that is? Dutch. Dutch. Do you speak Dutch? No. <laughs> yes, no, you do a little bit. No, I don't. Try to say it. <laughs> As you already know, this is my watch running backwards. So we can check if we arrive in time. So the watch started at 1 p.m. <laughs> and now, as you can see, it's uh, before noon. Over here, it's, it's not only just a nice ancient train, a museum train, but it's also a place where memories bloom in the true sense of the meaning. Do you have any idea what I mean? Memories no. blooming? No. It's forget-me-not. It's a forget-me-not, a true one, not a plastic one. This is a real forget-me-not. In German, vergiss man nicht. And couldn't it be more beautiful? Because this reminds us of people probably long gone or loved ones. Oh, please get a little bit closer. It's so beautiful. What did you say? Ines, look at this, there's an oven. That could be... It's first class. It's fir ah, this is first class. Oh yeah, it is probably first class because um, this this wagon has table uh, where we can have a nice cup of coffee because we're in Germany. Sorry, dear people from the United Kingdom. We're probably going to drink coffee. It's, are you going to drink tea or coffee? Maybe. Maybe. And this is the oven. If it's really, really cold, then... The, this may be in operation or not. We don't know. 
How cold do you feel? I'm not cold. <laughs> Our lovely head of operations here um, is also a person interested in haberdashing and she did some nice uh, key rings that you can um, buy here with, with train and um, engine decorations. They are very beautiful and only, only six euros. If I leave any left for you to buy. Yeah. The honest nerd that I am, I need to buy some more train pins. This is a pin from this actual um, train here. How, how comes how come that you that you got your own pin? Wie konnt dass ihr euren eigenen uh, euren eigenen Pin hier bekommen habt? You did you, you ordered it yourself. <laughs> Very good. That's it. So what's what's the name of the engine? Uh, Regenwalde. Regenwalde. Rainy <laughs> forest. That's the rainy forest steam train. Also, we are still at the at the vending booth is an old uh, German telephone. This telephone works as well as these stamps. This is a very German thing probably. It's a date stamp. I also have one. I think every German gets one when he or she is born. <laughs> and this is this is the phone. It, it has a dial for the younger ones. And oh, as you can probably hear, it's still functional. And you can call the fire department or the police. Does it also work for everything else? Funktioniert es auch für alles andere? Yeah. You can call anybody with this phone. It's still in function. Very nice. I brought, of course, some items that, that we need and are useful. Harry Potter gloves, in case it gets uh, cold. You, you got Harry Potter gloves yourself? No. No. Um, and then the railway map. And we already found out that probably this part of the train tracks is not on the map. So uh, please check. If she will not and heal then let's see if I can use my Harry Potter train ticket. And this is the yearly ticket uh, for this type of train. And then also things that you need to know about steam trains. And we will check if, uh, if Kitze knows these things. She's already checking. All right, Kitze, what's, what's the result? No. No? You found nothing? No, just no. Just no. Just no. <laughs> What did you find? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> some of the museum's trends are visible in the map. You, you found some where? Yes, in Spain. Where? Which city? It's close by. I don't know. <laughs> the travel starts. Yes. What, what do you expect? Harry Potter. Do you have, do you, to see flying yes. by? Yes. You mean like the whole bunch of Harry Potter characters? Yes. Whom, whom would you like to see? Luna. More? Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense to me. For those of you who don't know, I got an autograph of Luna that she wrote on my arm and I got it tattooed. Not, 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 not clear. I would also like to see Hermine. I think in, in English it's Hermione or uh, Hermione. something. Hermione. Hermione. Such a beauty. Look at this. Yellow flowers in the middle of the cornfields. Kids, you're going to study biology. Which flowers are these? <laughs> we just found out that we uh, cannot on YouTube say the name of, of this little uh, yellow lovely plant because it can be mixed up with something that may cause a block in YouTube. It's not a sunny day, but that doesn't matter because everything's green, it's springtime, it's quite beautiful. And we are rolling along through the self-cunt area. What do, no what do you know about the self-cunt area? Nothing. So the train ride is going on. Which station was this? Um, Birchen. Birchen? Yeah. Um, Most people don't know about Selfkant area. Where is the Selfkant region? In, in close to Belgium, right? Yes, uh, Netherlands. Close to the Netherlands? Yes. Not to Belgium. Um, we have to show our tickets. And you have an actual ticket, a clipser. Yeah. What, what do you think? How, how old is this? 
It looks very old. Yeah, uh, 100 years old maybe. <laughs> what is the best part of your job? Mm, the people, I yeah. think, yeah. But how are train enthusiasts? Usually old people or also some younger people? Oh, it's mixed, I think. Some young people old. old. Yeah, we, we saw uh, many young kids, like families and so on. Is that normal? Yes. Yeah. yeah. What, oh, sorry. Oh. What, what is the typical uh, thing that a kid wants to do? Go, go on, onto the engine and look at the engine? Or... Yes. To... Are they allowed to? Of course, yeah. 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 <laughs> were, were, were you also a little kid and wanted to go on, on the engine? Always. Really? <laughs> yes. Oh, to, since, since when are you interested in uh, steam trains? Um, my father was here uh, since he was a little kid. So I was raised here. Oh, yes. really? On yes. the train? Yes. So this is like your 5,000th train ride on this train? Yes. What, what makes the self bahn special compared to other um, steam train enterprises? Hmm. Maybe the Nikolaus Fahrten? Yes. It's on, on Santa Claus. What, what do you get? Probably the kids probably don't get any um, uh, glowing wine. <laughs> <laughs> right, the, the hot wine. What, what do the kids get? Cacao, maybe? Yes, um, and a bag with um, a Weckmann and oh. um, a chocolate Nikolaus. <laughs> yes. Dear kids, if you go on a Santa Claus tour, you, you get a bag full of sweets. That is very cool. <laughs> yes. But the parents probably buy that beforehand, right? Or is that a gift of... That's in the pl uh, price included. Very yes. cool. Nice, but now you have to do your job and maybe we observe you uh, click <laughs> Oh, there's one ticket. Okay, there we go. Here is another employee of the, of the self cut barn. Unbelievable. Hello, what's your name? Hello, my name is Alexandra. This is Alexandra. And what's your job here? Uh, my job is uh, catering. Uh, uh, sell um, coffee and uh, cakes and some other drinking. Which, ki which are kinds of cakes do you have? You can say that in German if you want to. This is a Sahnekuchen. Sahnekuchen. Cream cake. Cream cake. Yeah, is it okay. self made? Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> no, no, no. Not today. Not today. Uh, what, what do people prefer most? They drink coffee. Our English uh, viewers won't like that because this is a coffee region. Do you have black tea? Um, no. Sorry, no Sorry. tea. <laughs> we have but black maybe... tea, but we have no hot water. That's the problem. Ah, yeah, the tea bags are here, but no hot water. No, yeah, that is today. indeed a problem. Do you, what happens? Because, um, because the steam train runs on, on hot, hot, hot water. Yeah. <laughs> but not in the catering area. <laughs> okay, not yet. But cold drinks like um, apple juice and beer. And beer? Yeah, yeah. This is Germany. <laughs> on, the, on the street, which beer is it? Which uh, brand? Um, Altbier, uh, Pils. Uh, I know, but from which company? Um, Golden. Oh, that's something regional? Das prüfen wir gleich mal. We will, we will check which beer we will find in the catering wagon. Thank you very much. <laughs> This lady, by the way, is not a caterer um, all the time. In reality, she's an engine driver at Deutsche, Deutsche Bahn Personenverkehr. Yeah, Deutsche Bahn, uh, you know, uh, Regio. Regio. Which, uh, which trains uh, do, do you prefer to drive? Uh, which engines? Do you, do you have types that you prefer? Yeah, um, I prefer to drive um, old... Um, Electrical engines. So, uh, which type, for example, Siem the Siemens one, the singing Siemens one? Uh, it's, 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 no, this not this one. It's uh, too new. Uh, it's uh, an older one um, oh. from 1980. What's the name? So, um, 111. Which it's, color does it have in Germany? Red, oh, probably oh, red. Red and other. All um, many colors. Uh. Oh, I see. <laughs> Do you have a preferred color, or it, it, it doesn't matter to you? It doesn't matter. It's, <laughs> the engine is, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's the thing. Yeah. Can you can you prefer um, young persons to become uh, train engine drivers? Um, is it a good job? Yeah, it, it's. I think it's a good job, um, and for young and old, and also for old. Um, Person. And it's it's not boring to sit to sit in the train um, engine and see the same tracks every day. Uh, sometimes yes, yes, yes. <laughs> but it's okay. It's, 
and the, and the landscape changes depending on the season, right? It's spring and summer. Don't, yeah. don't fall over. <laughs> very good. Thank you very much. We let you cater now. Yeah. Thanks. We exited the train for a brief interval because we're now in Gilrad. This is the other end station. Fascinating, right? Yes. Yes. And the little engine is uh, over here. One thing that you may find fascinating is how super clean the engine is. This is unbelievable. It's, it's, it's all super German and all glittery. I show you. Look at this. Speckless. Absolutely speckless. Even the shovel is clean. <laughs>
Now we are allowed to enter the engine. Are you are you ready? Yes. Okay, let's go. <laughs> That's, it's a it's a brief stop that we are having now. We we were told not to touch anything. And as I said, everything is pretty pretty clean here. This is extremely beautiful. <laughs> Do you know what any of this is, Kitze? No. <laughs> but we will learn. We will... Was hast du da gemacht? Oh, was hast du da gerade gemacht? Durch die äh, Kette im Anfang zweite Pumpe. Du saugst immer die Leitung und Wasser aus dem Sender an und drückst über eine spezielle Düsenkonstruktion vorne am Kessel und Rücksachventil auf, um das Wasser in den Kessel reinzudrücken. Also es kommt neues Wasser in den Kessel ja. jetzt rein. Two friends here don't want to say too much in English because that they think the English is too bad. Um, how how bad is your English? Very very bad. <laughs> 
How about your English? Oh, likely fluent. <laughs> what very is perfect. very perfect? What is the best thing uh, at, at at your museum uh, train here? Oh, the best thing is that you have your own railway that you can handle some things or do some extra stuff you can normally do not if you are on a state railway. Therefore, our own railway, our own line. So have your own line to make some extra trains or trains on, on order. It's special quite nice. Events. Spe oh yeah, and special events. It's, it's a great, uh, when you go on the main line, you have to connect with the other trains. And we are here, our own uh, space. Mm -hmm. It's and better. You have your own tracks that are yeah. only used yeah. by self cars. Yes. Yeah. Um, can you recommend a special event, for example, the Nikolausfahrt, uh, Santa yeah, Claus? We, uh, we are in, have invented the Nikolaus rail, the trains. When, when was that? Uh, 1971. 1971, there was the Santa train. <laughs> we were the first uh, uh, historic railway uh, who made the Santa specials. Are you also sometimes the Santa? No, I was the center. I was uh, the, the black man. You were a black man. <laughs> you have smaller uh, in the years. In Germany, we have a black man who is punishing the children who behaved badly. Uh, have you been the, the Santa Claus ever? Sometimes. Sometimes, Sometimes you're the Santa Claus. Sometimes I'm the Santa Claus, yeah. <laughs> But not the black man. Uh, as him, when I was younger, I had the honor to play the black man. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> And therefore, Getting the coat, getting the mask and everything, and therefore being prepared for business and show. <laughs> Have you ever been punished by the black man? You were always a, a brave, a, a, a good person. That's very good. <laughs> the black man over here is, is in this region, it's called what, Hans Muff? Hans Muff. But in the Netherlands, which are very, very close by, it's a different name. It's, it's, a, it's a Pete. The beat, like the evil, evil beat, <laughs> evil beat. Do you also know the, the name for a black man? And we are not talking about the skin color, it's about the clothing. But we are all black men at the end of the day. <laughs> Which, which temperature does the fire have right now? Four. Uh, thousand degrees? Thousand degrees Celsius. Yes. One more question. How do, how do you know when new coal is needed? It's uh, depending on the so, color of no, on the color of the smoke. And the next in, indicator for the soaker to put new coal is the color of the fire. If you have the fire on a different spot burning quite light and bright, then you know there's much air and uh, oxygen going through the uh, coal. And then there's not any more, any coal left, and therefore you put new coal on this spot, and then on this spot you have new energy and new uh, coal to burn.
If you are interested in other trains, then of course there um, is also this uh, huge hall here in which you can observe some of the other wagons. It's quiet here. It's, um, it's larger um, than it seems. So if you're interested, there are some historical items here, for example, our train tickets. <laughs> which are still in use. The old train tickets are still in use, as, as you have seen. Suitcases, vending machines, old wagons. And outside is our engine that you know already. You got um, some train related <laughs> souvenirs. What, what is it? It's, it's for cookie dough. You, you can form your cookie dough in the form of a, of a steam engine and wagons. Is it both? Yes. yes, it's both. And let's have a look at our train watch. It doesn't make much sense, but as you know, it's running backwards. Let's see if uh, Kietze is already uh, into the whole thing. Um, why do you think sometimes the train engines explode? I don't know. Okay, it, it can happen due to either due to malfunction, but also to maloperation. So both is possible. Um, do you know why the the engines sometimes have these little flaps or ears? No, I don't know. <laughs> do you want to know? Yes. Okay, we'll ask the engine drivers. Yeah. We are back at our engine team. Um, do you know why sometimes the trains have these little ears or flaps in the front? Uh, it's for to make a oh, an air a stream that the smoke don't come down for in front of the cabin and. But, uh, but you don't have it, so the smoke is coming into uh, your. It's, it's only uh, it, uh, it, it's working uh, only in higher speeds. Ah, so it's not well, So what is the maximum speed that you yeah, that you drive? The here? engine is allowed to uh, thirty kilometers per hour. And how much? How, how much? Twenty. Twenty. We are riding here. <laughs> okay. And the second question we didn't know: Why do sometimes the engines blow up and explode? Okay. Oh, that's in ninety-nine uh, percent uh, a personal problem. With um, yeah. Oh, I don't know the English word. <laughs> Unachtsamkeit. Unachtsamkeit. Yeah. In inattentiveness. But we saw you taking very good care of everything <laughs> in between. Very nice. So it won't happen here.
one final question. Yes. Can I use this as a ticket? No, not here. Not here? Why not? It's not the original one. <laughs> the original self cut barn. Um, do, do you have many Harry Potter fans using the train or is that not happening? I don't know. Not yet, but we hope you're going to come. Dear Harry Potter fans, you're welcome, but not with this ticket. I mean, you can carry the ticket, but it won't help you. But it's not expensive. How much How much is one train ride? Uh, nine euros. Ah, that's affordable. That's very affordable. Is it back and forth? Nine euros. Uh, so that's, that's, that's a good one. Fabulous, beautiful train trip uh, with the uh, Selfkantbahn. We are back in Schierwaldenrad. This is our steam engine. Steam in. Steam in. Steam in hot. By now, it's got a little bit cold, so I'm wearing my um, Hufflepuff um, Harry Potter gloves. This is sometimes recommended, even though it can be sunny. This is a little bit on the countryside here, so it might be a little bit colder. And um, Today there's gonna be another ride, but Ines thinks it's enough now. Four rides are enough. Yes. Yes. Why? Four are enough. If four are enough. It's just four are enough. Four are enough. It's just a matter of fact. Cheers. Thank you very much. Go visit this beautiful steam engine ride. Bye bye. Let's see. What impressed the next generation of steam train riders? It's a, what, what did you like best? What was the best moment? I don't know. Everything was good. Everything was good. Yes. Uh, what could be better? Or was it already perfect? It was perfect. Can you recommend it for any particular age group? Yes. Yes. For which age group? Every age group. <laughs> so far. Cheers. Here comes another train. This is, of course, not a steam train. It's a diesel train. 